My name is Celestina Brunetti. I'm a chef and nutritionist. Welcome to Cooperative Extensions Kitchen. Today, I will be showing you how to make the stir-fried vegetable with tofu dish from the Eating Smart, Being Active cookbook developed through the FNEP program. This recipe makes six one-cup servings, takes about 10 minutes to prepare, and about 15 to 20 minutes to cook. We have vegetable broth here. You can also use water, chicken stock, or beef broth at home. But since we're using tofu, I thought vegetable would be most appropriate. I also have soy sauce, which is great to add flavor to any dish, but it can be really high in sodium. I purchased reduced sodium soy sauce. Next, I have cornstarch, which will help to add thickness to the sauce. It won't add any flavor. Then I have black pepper, garlic powder, vegetable oil. And here I have some frozen stir fry vegetables. I've measured it out. And when you're measuring out, make sure that your cup is level with your product inside. You can also use fresh vegetables, but I think these are a great option as well. And lastly, I have tofu, which is an excellent source of calcium and a very good source of protein. I have extra firm, but you can also use firm tofu. Let's get started by making our sauce. We'll take some vegetable broth, soy sauce, cornstarch, black pepper, garlic powder. You want to stir the ingredients until they're well combined so that the cornstarch doesn't fall to the bottom. We're going to set this sauce aside and use it a little bit later in our cooking. I'm going to preheat my skillet on medium high heat so that after we're done with the tofu, we can put it right in. To cut the tofu, I'll be using a chef knife and a cutting board. At home, you can also use a paring knife and a plate if that works better for you. So to prepare the tofu, there's liquid inside of it, inside the package. So with your knife, cut a slit on one side and into a, a bowl or your sink, drain the liquid. When all the liquid has been removed, you can open the remainder of the package. Inside, it will be a firm brick of tofu. So it's still gonna be a little wet and spongy, but that's okay. So we're gonna turn the tofu up on its side and using the knife, cut through the thin part of the, of the tofu from the top to the bottom. We're now gonna turn the tofu back onto its, its largest side and we're gonna make strips of tofu. Turn it 90 degrees and do the same on this side. It'll make cubes this time. We have our bite-sized cubes of tofu. We can take a dish lined with some paper towels and place the tofu on the dish with the paper towel. All of the tofu is placed on the dish with another paper towel. Go on top and just press gently on the tofu to get any remaining water out. Now that our vegetable oil is in our pan and our tofu is nice and dry, we can take the tofu from the plate and put it directly into our warm pan. We want the tofu to br be browned on all sides. This may take a few minutes. It's been about 10 minutes and our tofu has turned nice and golden brown on all of the sides. So we're gonna take it off from the heat and move it onto a plate just to hold it for a minute. We're gonna place our pan back on the heat and add our mixed vegetables. You wanna cook the vegetables on medium to high heat so that they stay crunchy, especially the frozen ones. It's been about five minutes that our vegetables have been cooking. We're gonna turn down the heat to about medium, add the tofu back in, as well as the sauce that we made earlier. Be sure to stir the sauce a little bit before you add it over your vegetables. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit so the sauce has a chance to warm up and the cornstarch can help thicken it. So it's been another five minutes and the sauce has thickened and become this nice glaze over all of the vegetables and the tofu. I'm going to turn off the heat and it's actually ready to serve. Doesn't this look beautiful? It's just a mountain of vegetables and the tofu and the nice thick sauce. I'm gonna try a little bite now. This dish is delicious. For an easy stir fry at home that came together in 20 minutes, this is perfect for any night of the week. You can serve it with rice or this can be your main dish. I'm Celestina. Thank you for joining me today in Cooperative Extensions Kitchen.